All right, now don't get too freaked out. We got a ladder on the set right here, but it's just gonna be a little quick access ladder. Just taking out that dude. can't overestimate the importance of a ladder sometimes. Yeah, so I uh, went home for lunch and picked up Tink for the next job. And Tink, for some reason, she was like a little puppy, a little puppy dog. She would kind of sit on my lap like this when we drove around and so she still does it. up here on the right. Alright, it's starting to look like a full load or full-ish. Alright, the next job could fall under the classification of save the building from the trees. I feel like I get a lot of this, you know? get the tree over the building and people worry about it falling and stuff so so my job is to show up and save the building from the trees look at these trees um this is the building we're trying to save protect whatever it is and you gotta get this stuff out of there and some of that stuff out of there you can see from this angle what kind of overhang we're dealing with you know it's it's significant You know, I tried those iron-on patches, and I mean, they're okay, but I'm not seeing like 100% effectiveness going on here. Now, if you're thinking like, you know, Spencer, you should get a chainsaw on a stick, you know, like a gas-powered pole saw, yeah, it's on my list. All right, so uh, tree number one is mischief managed, and I just gotta take out that dude. Oh, and maybe retrieve my ladder. Now, if they were really carpenter ants, you'd see like little tables and chairs and stuff in here, but instead they just eat it. They're more like wood chomping ants. Uh, that's the last chunk on that one and that pretty much wraps up this video i guess i should say that 
it's not really like how-to video you know it's not like a like a DIY step-by-step -step kind of thing I mean those videos are good and everything I like those videos but this is just a story of how I did it and I appreciate you checking it out <laughs>